Okay guys, welcome to an episode of Our Happy Kitchen Halloween Edition. We are all ready for Halloween. So today we are talking about one of my favorite subjects, P.S. P.S. Pumpkin Spice. So we're gonna start out today by making our own pumpkin spice and then we are going to go into making a delicious pumpkin roll that has been my latest obsession. I've made probably like six pumpkin rolls so far and it's not even the end of October yet. I see more pumpkin rolls in my future because it's such a fun therapeutic um, baking experience. Spread out that batter and then spread out that frosting and roll it up. It's like so much fun. So I'll show you exactly how to make that. So stay tuned for a great Halloween episode. Okay, so for pumpkin spice, what you have to do is combine three teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of nutmeg, two teaspoons of ginger, one teaspoon of allspice, which is actually made from dried berries, and then one teaspoon of cloves. And you just whisk that, mix it around just like this. There you go. And you're never gonna have to buy any pumpkin spice again. This is so super easy to make. Okay, so now we are ready to start on our pumpkin roll. The first step is to put three eggs in your KitchenAid mixer, or you're gonna blend this either by hand or with an electric blender, and you're gonna add one cup of granulated sugar. Now you're gonna blend this until it has like a light yellow color to it and is fully beaten, so it usually takes about five minutes to do that. So while your mixer is going, you want to do a couple things. The first thing is you want to preheat your oven to 180 Celsius or 375 Fahrenheit. Okay, you also want to get your baking sheet ready and then put some parchment paper or cooking paper on top. And then also take your ingredients for the filling or frosting out of the fridge because you want them to be more room temperature. So your butter and your cream cheese, definitely take those out of the refrigerator. And then, of course, you want to check in with your little baby chef. <laughs> mixy, mixy, mixy. Vance, what are you making us? Pumpkin. Pumpkin roll? Again, Manny? Okay, so after five minutes, you'll see that your mixture is now a light, pale yellow color. Now it's time to add half of a lemon juiced. Okay, so now it's time to add your pumpkin puree. Here in the Philippines, it's really hard to find canned pumpkin, so we made our own puree, and it's actually made from a squash found here in the Philippines that's really, really um, prevalent here. So it's 150 grams of squash or two-thirds cup of your canned pumpkin. After your pumpkin is added to your mixer, then it's time to blend again. So now you can see it has a nice orange color to our egg mixture here. Okay, so now it is time to combine your dry ingredients. So in this bowl, we have three-fourths cup of flour. Next, we are going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of pumpkin spice. And lastly, we are going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so you wanna make sure that all of these dry ingredients are sifted. So one way you can do that, which is really easy, is just take, take a whisk and just aerate it around, just stir it around here. Make sure there's no lumps in your flour combination. This will ensure that your cake is nice and fluffy and spongy as it should be. Okay, so now it is time to take our mixture off of the, the KitchenAid here. So we are gonna lower it down we're gonna release this. We wanna add the dry ingredients and just stir them around. If you overbeat this cake, it will get very like dense and we wanna keep that airiness to it. So, um, so definitely just stir it around with the whisk or just with a rubber spatula. Okay guys, so here's the fun part. You gotta spread your batter out onto your baking sheet you want to make sure that it's a nice big rectangle that's evenly spread around. So this is the really nice therapeutic part where you could literally spend an hour spreading this batter around. Um, it is really fun to do. There's something weirdly like satisfying about it. So I hope you guys enjoy this part. Okay, so now we are going to bake our pumpkin roll cake at 13 minutes on 180 Celsius or 375 Fahrenheit. So to make our delicious cream cheese filling, we are combining 
three-fourths of a block of cream cheese, which is about six ounces. For the butter, we're using unsalted butter, 50 grams right around there, or three tablespoons. And then for the powdered sugar, three-fourths of a cup. Okay, we just got a couple more things to add. We're gonna add our whipping cream here, just one tablespoon. Now we're adding one teaspoon of pumpkin spice and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so now we use the electric beater to blend it all up until it's smooth and creamy. Okay, so our pumpkin roll cake just came out of the oven. It's looking perfect, nice and done. So we're just gonna place a new parchment paper over top here and then the cutting board. All right, and now we are going to flip it over. There we go. And be careful because this pan is really hot still. There we go. I'm just gonna place this over here. Okay. So now you wanna take off the original parchment paper, just like this. There we go. Comes right off. And then with roll cakes, you wanna make sure you roll your cake before you actually add the filling. You wanna roll the cake soon after it comes out of the oven when it's still warm. So that's what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna roll our cake up. So here we go. And then it kind of creates like a muscle memory for your cake. So you want to do it nice and tight. Okay. It's going to be so good. There we go. All rolled up. So you just want to let this cool. And then once it's completely cool, we can do the frosting. We want to make sure we got all the frosting out of the bowl because the frosting is the best part, in my opinion. So now it's time to smooth the frosting over amongst the whole rectangle. You want it to be within the center. You want to leave about one and a half centimeters around the edges. So once you're all evenly spread out here, just make sure we got all this Frosting off. Yummy. Okay. Be in this later. Okay, so now it's time to roll up your pumpkin roll for the last time, and then we're gonna go ahead and chill it. So here we go. So now it's time to put your pumpkin roll in the fridge. I give it at least a couple hours before you start slicing it and serving it because you want it to be nice and cold. I even put it in the freezer sometimes and it works just as well. So we are actually leaving it overnight and then we'll see how our delicious pumpkin roll turned out tomorrow. So I put the crease side down. Let's give it a cut. We want to cut the edges off. Ooh, that looks so good. Yummy. Sprinkle your powdered sugar, and I like to sprinkle some more pumpkin spice on top too, just for extra flavor. There you go. Okay guys, so it's the moment of truth. It's time to try our pumpkin roll. Look how delicious it looks. I actually already took a bite because I couldn't wait. You know how I am. So let's go ahead and try it. It looks nice and airy. See how like the cake has lots of like air to it. It's like a sponge cake. All right, here we go. Mmm. Love me some pumpkin roll. Okay, so to get your pumpkin roll piece to look like this, you definitely want to take the ends off of the roll. Those are the worst part because they're probably not going to have as much cream cheese. So you want to cut those off. Um, you know, save those for like your husband. I give him that piece. Just kidding amongst a lot of other pieces. You can also freeze pumpkin rolls and eat them for up to like two months. You could also give them as gifts. So 
It's a really fun dessert to make and to give people. They will love you forever if you gave them this. Mmm. Has the perfect amount of cream cheese to cake ratio. And the cream cheese itself makes the cake like even more moist than it already is. So yeah, guys, hope you have a happy Halloween. Enjoy your pumpkin baking. And we'll see you next time on Our Happy Kitchen. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and let us know what your favorite autumn themed dessert is or food in general. We want to know. Thanks, guys. Happy Halloween. Bye.